Now when it comes to RPGs, there is typically two types of intros, like the more cutscene intro where you introduce the characters or maybe foreshadow some sort of future event, and the more abstract intro where like it's just a black screen, sort of like this right here, and where some unnamed narrator is going to explain what's going on and perhaps even include some character creation for your character. And in today's video, we're going to be going over how to create this abstract intro for your game. And next time, we'll be going over how to actually create a cutscene like right here, where something happens to these specific characters in the game. So let's get straight into this. So to start off, let's actually first go create an entirely new map, and let's call this map Intro. And we're just going to leave it at that. Let's hit OK, and when we do so, we'll find that we've brought, been brought to this like, like map with no tiles whatsoever. And that's the goal. Because if you may have noticed from the other intro, it was completely black screen. And that's what happens when there's no tiles and there's no parallax, which we'll get into later in this video. But to start off, let's actually stick the player's spawn point in the bottom corner right here. So we'll do player, and I'll set the player to be spawned right in this room. And then in some other spot, let's actually create a new event. And let's make it so the trigger for the event is, of course, our auto run event. Let's add some dialogue like show text. Hi, this is intro. And then finally, let's go transfer the player to say more like the original spawn point. So we'll go to transfer player, we'll select our say our map 001, put them right there, and hit OK. And we should be good to go. So let's see what happens when we push new game. And when we do so, we brought to the black screen as we expected. If you may notice, our player characters in the bottom right hand corner visible to whoever wants to see. And this dialogue has appeared because the auto run event has run it. And when we hit A or enter or whatever, it's going to bring us back to our original map. And that's going to be the very basic mechanics on how this intro is going to work. As you can see, it's pretty simple. Just do whatever you want to do inside this event and that will occur. And at the very end, the player will be transferred to the original spawning point you want to start the game at. But we, let's first address the main very obvious issue, which is the fact that the player is completely visible. When this intro is occurring, we want the player to be invisible. And so there's a very simple way to do this. Let's go to our database right here and go down to the system tab right here. And when we do so, let's go up to the options section right here. As you may notice, there's a lot of options we can choose from. And what you want to do is click the start transparent option right here. This makes it so at the beginning of the game, the player party and everything starts out completely invisible. So when that's hit, now when we start the game, this player is getting completely invisible. Of course, if we do this, they'll remain invisible till stated otherwise. So to make them visible again, let's go back into here, let's create a new event. I want you to go to the second tab, go down to change transparency, and turn it off. And so that'll turn the transparency of the player party off. Now, when we start a new game, we'll notice that the player party is absent from the bottom right corner, and all we see now is a dialogue. And when we hit A, we'll notice that when we go to the map, we'll find a player character active and trans not transparent and available to play as. So, as you see here, we have a very boring, like, pretty bland auto run event that runs the intro thing. And that's cool and all, but let's address one last thing, which is the black background. I mean, perhaps you do want that to introduce your game, but maybe you want something else. And that's where Parallax comes in. Let's go down to our map, hit edit on it, and go to another section right here which just says Parallax Background. If we click on the image, we'll have a bunch of built-in images we can select from. Let's select, say, I don't know, hmm, maybe Starlit Sky and hit OK. And now what's going to happen is this background is going to be over top any like transparent or lack of visible tiles things. So pretty much what I'm saying is, as you see now, there's going to be a complete background for this map. And if we go and we could draw stuff on it if we were making another different type of map. But we want this map to be completely empty, so we're just going to remove that. And if we go back to this map, we'll notice that we also have options for looping. So we could select like loop horizontal for maybe like three speed scroll whatever and hit OK. And now this is going to scroll in the background. So now when we start our game, we'll have the same thing, but only this slightly better looking parallax background scrolling in the back. So making things a lot more prettier to look at for our abstract intro. And besides this, there are actually many other options we have in terms of actually customizing or detailing our abstract intro, such as showing pictures, which we'll get into the future tutorial. But for now, this is really all you need to know. You can make all these dialogues. Perhaps you want to add choices like doing show choice right here. Perhaps you want to input a name by doing the input name, which you'll find in the third tab right here where it says name input processing. Select an actor you want name to be input to and select the maximum amount of characters selected and you can input a name. 
It's really that simple. And that's really all for this tutorial. If you enjoyed, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Tomorrow, or whenever the next tutorial is, we'll do a tutorial on how to actually do like an actual intro that affects like the actual main game part system, part right here, where the actuals will be moving, we'll be doing stuff, it'll be crazy, it'll be amazing. I hope you can hardly wait until next time, RPG Maker Tutorial, end.